Howdy everyone, and welcome to another episode of Played With Toys. I'm Jaime. Today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Star Lord Special Edition. This is the US edition. It came with some explosions because I love explosions. They're purple, in fact, actually, kind of like pinkish purple. Really cool. I'll show them to you guys here in a little bit later. But here are some stats on the figure. And I personally do actually really enjoy this figure, although I think it's kind of a weird figure as far as in terms of articulation. Um, but I think he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty Chris Pratty. And I think that his accessories are, you know, minimum with minimal with the exception of the explosion. And uh, but I wish he can't kind of came with another face or something like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the review. Starting at the box always starting at the box this is actually a pretty awesome box and i love the same way with rocket raccoon you've got that kind of white uh you know under shading and black and then this you know light kind of green bluish and you know unlike uh rocket though who was an exclusive i think you don't get the shipper box or at least i did not so this is all open unlike his rocket raccoons is not open at all but I think this is a really, really cool display set, even if you just wanted to leave it in the box, which I never recommend, but let's take a look at the other sides. All right, so there's Star-Lord kicking some butt on one side. Different pieces and, of course, the awesome blast effects that you get. But you can also see, you know, his face is actually pretty accurate, honestly. And there he is with his mask on. I do like the top Star Lord Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and Explosion set. I don't think it says it anywhere else on the box. Okay, I lied. It says it. It says it right down there. Totally lied. So let's get on with the figure out of the box and take a look at what the hell we're getting. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with sculpt because you know what? That's what it always uh, you know comes down to with the figure arts. It's like we buy them for sculpt a lot as well as articulation. But this looks pretty good, I'd have to say. Uh, even looking on camera, actually, I think it looks better. Um, and the more I look at it, it's kind of one of those figures, the more you start to see of him in there, you know, and it, there's a fair amount of angles, I would say, that it looks like him, and I'll be doing a video with the Marvel Legends version of this, which the other one I don't think looks horrible, but I mean, it's nowhere near as good as this, obviously, that's just not something that's going to happen, <laughs> but the hair is pretty nice, I think, and uh, fairly on par with him, as long as with the stubble and the pointy nose and uh, the you know other stubble up here the eyes look good so he's about six inches tall again as mentioned earlier I showed earlier and I really like the kind of shading going throughout the jacket and stuff normally we don't get a whole lot of shading but notice that I did get some shading on this one and even the Goku I got earlier so what are they starting to do maybe starting to do some more shading here so you can see it throughout the jacket though very nice uh, kind of like not blood red but you know, I like the tone on the jacket, and it goes great in contrast with the baby uh, light, you know, it's kind of sky blue shirt. I have no clue what the heck that says, but I'm sure there's a way to find out. Um, and this is a total separate layer, of course, and you can see the bicep swivels under there. I guess if you really wanted to go ahead and take them out, you could do something like that and make a custom by removing the jacket. But I think there's mix missing some text there, uh, but whatever, I'm not going to sit there and about that but I really do like all the texture given to him and his jacket and everything and all the colors and this is very detailed even right there so it looks really really good moving on to his torso it's made of this like kind of soft flexible plastic which I kind of have it's really thin so it like worries me because that's all there is there it's just like this rubber piece it's kind of floating and so just be really careful with it when you're moving it around and I kind of had to push up on it somewhat to be able to get his leg to kick out or you know move certain ways and I was like what is this guy he can't do anything but that's not true he can I just had to kind of figure it out but yeah now he can Indian sit if he wants so 
<laughs> I do, you know, his articulation is funky, but we'll go over that here a little bit later. Um, and so you can see there's a different tone, you got brown, silver, and then kind of like a brownish red uh, with shading going on throughout the legs. So it's really cool to see something different from figure arts in terms of the shading. Um, looks like I do have, oh, no, I guess that's just uh, speckles. Thought I had some white marks there for a second, but the boots look really great. And again, more shading throughout the boots, so that looks pretty cool. Maybe they heard our complaints and decided to do some more shading. What do you guys think? I think they did. And this right here and the new Goku I got, I think, is evidence of that. So we'll have to see if they continue this trend. But uh, for now, hey, I love it. Sculpt us win. Right, Chris? So what sorts of accessories does Old Star Lord come with? Well, first of all, he comes with these awesome blast effects, which I freaking love. They look great in light and all sorts of cool stuff. So they're a nice different color than, you know, I know you can buy the knockoffs, but it's cool to get an official set that's different. And it's very light, like pinkish. And I think they kind of go with a little bit of, I don't know, purple, light purple, transparent tones, I would say on the outside and so this would go well with I think the smoky uh, ones I mean you could pair them with the fire ones but it would also go well with a bit Bandai Tamashi Nation's 2015 or 16 uh, purple flames so that's pretty cool even though this uh, this is lighter now you've got three total balls one of them can, well these all can be plugged in to a Tamashi stage via uh, any of these pegs whoops sorry Star Lord but this you if you want to display it this way there's actually a hole in one of these to push this in like that and then you just kind of push it up against there and it should stay put and then you've got your like unified explosion effect or whatever you could put star lord behind that i suppose if you wanted to something like that or of course these can all be independently used if you choose so either on the ground or all in the air so it's however you want to set it up, you know, whatever you want to do. If you just want to have, you know, a bunch of explosions going on, then that's totally cool. So let's go ahead and check out the other accessories we get, which aren't quite as exciting, at least for me, but they're still, some of them are pretty cool. So first off, I would normally give you the fisty fingers, but I have these currently attached. And these are the trigger fingers. So they're okay. Um, they work. They work okay. Uh, it doesn't look like it's such a one even tone, but I don't know. I could be wrong. It looks like the paint's a little bit more uh, than just, I don't know. Let's take a look here. I think that looks pretty on par, so that's good. No sore eye there. Let's check out these other hands. All right, so we've got flight hands, his dance hands, because you know he loves to dance and maybe his romance in hands or slapping somebody in the butt hands and you got some fisty hands so those are the three hands that you get they're all in straight plugs no issues there no problems to unplug them simply do that and you're good to go and then just plug it back in like i showed you and this is a you know hand that doesn't really but uh, they're all straight so and then you're gonna get Boom! Another head for Star Lord. And this one right here just pops right off, just like that. And, and this is gonna come on, and you're still gonna get the same range of motion that you got. So just you know, no worries there. He can you know still look up. Per ah, I always do this. I keep doing this. <laughs> it's gonna be the death of this figure. Sorry, old Star Lord. See, just pop this back in. Alright, now let's try this again, and there we go, and he can be, you know, kind of flying da flying forward, so that's cool. Maybe throw some Iron Man effects on there if you want to go ahead and do some custom stuff. But, uh, and then lastly, of course, you've got his crazy blaster. Now these are keyed, so you want to put this side right here that has like, uh, you know, this kind of keyed area uh, with, against the inside of the hand. Oh, come on, it's a little bit tricky. But once you've got that in there, it should stay in there pretty good. If you try to do it the other way, it's going to be very, very wobbly. And you're not going to get a good grip. It's just going to fall out. So definitely pay attention to the keys. I mean, it even falls out just like that. So that's kind of uh, an issue. I just wanted to kind of show you guys so that way you are aware. 
and you're not like, what the heck is going on? And, and there's no trigger finger hole, um, which is also maybe a little bit unfortunate, right? Because maybe it would just let them hold it a little bit better, but it should be fine, honestly. Um, he holds them out straight for the most part, so he can, you know, be sh doing his shooting because he's always like, bam, 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 you know, doing that whole thing. So they work pretty well. They're nicely painted, and in conjunction with his hands, it's it's fine. They don't really get in the way of any articulation or anything like that. So that's great. Um, I don't know. Could he? I think he could have come with one more face, and that would have been cool. But as it is, it's it's cool. So let's go ahead and check out the rest. Ah. All right. So checking out articulation. You can look up that high so he can do his Star Lord E poses, I guess, if needed to fly around. He can look down that low pretty good. Look side to side. Looks like a dead dead person I'm manipulating here. So creepy this is lifelike, honestly. Um, <laughs> but anyway, very great good neck articulation. So that's, you know, adequate and good, because we need that for Star Lord. Now moving on to his shoulders. Got this weird kind of like, so you've got a pull out mechanism, yes, and you've got a bicep swivel, but it's on this like angled joint or whatever. So it's a singular bicep swivel, you're not gonna have another one down there. Although you do get a little bit of play there at the lower forearm, so that is good. You can move that around if you needed to adapt his blasters to shoot a certain way or maybe try to angle his arms the best way you can so knees are gonna, or knees the uh, elbows are going to go up to there single joint and you can get them up to about there like i said and swing them all the way around all that good stuff so nice butterfly action everywhere jacket doesn't really get in the way too much now the hands here are on the typical joint system of figure arts human characters it's pretty thin so it gives you a decent amount of play and range so you can get around so that's good all right taking a look at his well so this jacket again is you know movable waist whoops I just broke it no, I'm just kidding um, all right so waist you can get about that much crunch out of it but <laughs> just gotta be careful with the back skirt or the back part you can get them to go about that far back and it kind of looks like he has a beer belly if you do that though you know <laughs> so maybe that far back without him looking beer belly-ish so that that's okay not really that much but as far as, oh yeah, side to side, pretty decent. It's such a weird system when it's just that free floating, you know, thing in there. It's like, it does give him a decent amount of range. You can hear all this crazy noise, you know, going on. So, it's all these wonderful pieces rubbing against each other. But because it's such a soft piece, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm just more worried about ripping it than anything. Um, but I did have to finish with it to get him to allow him to kick forward. So, you might have to do that now and he's got a little bit past 90 degree articulation and his swivel is going to come from all up there there is no really boot swivel or anything just a little bit of play back and forth but yeah all his swivel action is right there so you can see what that's going to get you and that gets you about that so you can kick him out about that far even moving his little you know waist piece up so not super articulated but you know articulated enough so far I actually do like his feet they move left to right pretty good got a nice toe pivot I've also got a great up and down motion range so all in all pretty decent you could probably get him to do some crazy dances or whatever not the most highly articulated figure but definitely not the worst I've seen much worse and uh also the sculpt is pretty pretty groovy so i'd have to say 
What are my final thoughts? I don't know. Give me a second here. I just need to give it a thought. Alright, so my final thoughts are that at this point in the game, if you have not switched over to figure arts or not in the process of or not thinking about buying the figure arts Marvel collection, you probably want to skip on this. And the reason is it's not going to scale well. I mean, he looks freaking good, but as I'll do the, uh, the you know comparison, uh, you'll see that he is just dwarfed by the other figure uh, from Marvel Legends and even Gamora and all the figures. And that's that, that's fine, but you know the the scale is off enough that it's you're probably not, <laughs> it's definitely noticeable. So uh, other than that, though, if you're a huge fan of figure arts and have a nice figure arts Marvel collection and looking to fill out your MCU universe then heck yeah I would say buy this figure I love it I love it with effects uh, it looks really really good I got Rocket Raccoon and they are hanging out together now I'm pretty excited to see if they're gonna have any other releases I would love a Loki I would love a Drax you know Gamora Nebula hopefully we'll get all those guys Thanos everybody Mm, that'd be so exciting to see the entire Guardians of the Galaxy team brought together. Might be over a couple different movies, might be over the next few years, but I'm hoping eventually they're going to get it taken care of. Anyway guys, much appreciated, and uh, leave any comments if you like, uh, have any questions, feel free to ask away. Happy collecting, and leave a like and subscribe if you wanted to catch up with more. Take it easy, y'all.